Hello, good day. Today I will teach you how to discuss session number six. Session number six in this module is all about uh, ethics and social responsibility. And what is ethics if you are uh, teaching it to your senior high school students? You have to discuss first, uh, ethics is all about evaluating short and long-term consequences in making ethical decision. Explaining this uh, first concept, you have to cite examples about a business that uh, is confronted with a very critical decision na if uh, he will decide to gain in the short term, pero mali naman yung kanyang uh, decision because it will affect uh, other people in his environment. For example, uh, yung staff niya, investors, the environment, the community, uh, in order to gain profit, pero in the long term, it will have a bad effect naman sa paligid niya. It will also affect his business. So there are a lot of examples that you can use in explaining that uh, ethics as a good uh, business uh, guide is all about thinking of the long term consequences or effects of that particular short term decision to profit. So, yun yung uh, first concept that uh, you have to explain by citing. Uh, several companies uh, or for that matter any uh, situation that uh, an entrepreneur decided for the long term because he knows that uh, a short-term gain or profit will not be very good in the long run if it destroys the people or the stakeholders around him second concept is express that being ethical can be good for business and it means that um, we have to cite examples why being ethical is good for business and uh, uh, we can cite uh, for example um, businesses like uh, shell even if it's a uh, petroleum uh, or oil company was able to create ethical decisions in order to protect the environment or any example for that matter that will uh, particularly express that uh, providing a good uh, decision that uh, takes care of the environment, the staff, the investors, uh, the community where the company operates will be in the long run beneficial to the business. So yun yung concept na yun. Of course, we all know that if you uh, consider your stakeholders like your customers, your investors, your community, the environment. In the long run, it will create a big impact on the reputation of your business. Thereby, yung impact na yun sa business will mean profitable business because the people around you see your company as a good uh, partner of the stakeholders of the customer, again, the investors, the suppliers, the distributor community, and the country or the world as a whole. So that these two concepts are very important in um, emphasizing to our students that ethics is good for business. And one example is this uh, uh, 2019-2020 Asia-Pacific champion coming from the Philippines, Sitera, from St. Scholastica, when they, they are able to uh, create a product na ethical because it uh, considers envir the environment. And as you can see, yung coconut choir, the part ng bag na yon, is just uh, something that we throw away or we neglect. But this uh, great uh, senior high school students we're able to see how this coconut choir na, again, looks like a waste material can be used as a fashionable uh, raw material in creating a great bag. So 
that's what it considers uh, the environment. At the same time, the one that uh, creates that bug is uh, from the community. So they were able to provide jobs from that community. So yung dalawang yon are uh, part of their decision making to be ethical. Hindi lang profit yung kanilang inisip, kundi what's the impact of their product to the society, to the environment, to the community that they wanted to serve or cater. So again, uh, another definition of ethics, the standards that help determine what is good, right, and proper. Uh, as an entrepreneur, uh, mahirap yan na uh, isa buhay, but uh, if you know what is good, right, and proper, uh, you will be able to make a very difficult decision kapalit ng profit, ng short-term profit. Because you know that uh, if your decision is not uh, ethical in the long run, it will hunt your business and it will hunt you. And most often, yun yung reason bakit pumabagsak yung isang uh, mighty business. Kasi nga, uh, it failed to consider this uh, concept, yung ethics, which is doing what is good, right, and proper for the people around you, for the people that you serve. No, So in, profit is just a reward of uh, what you do in helping your customer and creating a good relationship with your distributor, supplier, with your investors with the community where your business operates and the world as a whole. So, yan yung uh, dapat natin ma-emphasize sa mga bata. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng ethics na yun na may encounter nila pag nag-start na silang maging businessman. Alongside with the uh, ethics is this concept, social responsibility, a business obligation to weigh the consequences to all stakeholders before making decisions. We can research about different examples. I have uh, examples here that I will show you. But again, uh, para ma ipakita to sa mga bata na social responsibility is uh, weighing in the consequences of all our decisions that will impact our stakeholders. And again, most often than that, part of the stakeholders is the community and environment where the business operates. So ano yung mga social responsibility ng isang negosyo sa paligid niya at sa community yung ginagalawa niya. So, dapat maghanap tayo ng mga concrete example para maunawaan yun ng mga bata. And this is one example. Uh, recently, uh, a company from Mindanao was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize uh, for Business. And the name of the company is Coffee for Peace. Kaya siya tinawag ng Coffee for Peace. Ang, ang backstory niya is that uh, there was supposed to be a bloodshed in a particular uh, area in Mindanao because of a land issue between Christians and Muslims. They're uh, having a land dispute. So, uh, husband and wife tandem na they were working in an NGO called a meeting for the elders of the Christian community and the Muslim community. And they allowed them to talk and dialogue over a cup of coffee. And because of that dialogue, they were able to prevent bloodshed sa Mindanao. And right now, in that particular area, they created a cooperative uh, to maximize the land that they shared. And that cooperative and the product that they produce, yung tao nga, coffee for peace. Because to symbolize yung naging pag-uusap nila uh, in order to uh, prevent, avert bloodshed in their community and that is social responsibility creating a business uh, that not only profits but considers the good of our society of our community kaya marami tayong mga ganyang storya na pwede natin gamitin in explaining transmitting to our students yung concept na ito at uh, malamang kayo marami kayong uh, karanasan if you have then use your own stories in cascading the importance of social responsibility and ethics to your students na naka-assign sa inyo. Again, uh, we've been mentioning uh, stakeholders. So, ang meaning ng stakeholder sa module natin is any person or group directly affected 
by a business. This can include, again, employees, suppliers, customers, communities, members, and shareholders. So your business is not only yours because your business is part of a bigger environment, which is your stakeholder. And your stakeholder is not only your customers. Kasama dyan yung supplier, distributor, yung mga partners mo outside of your company. And more importantly, your community, which includes the environment. Kaya dapat if, uh, mapaunawa natin na if uh, you're creating a business, try to see the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is identify who is your stakeholder, who is the stakeholder of your business. Kaya ito yung concept na importante in uh, that we should cascade to the students and the example uh, of course there's an activity uh, in choosing your ethics and social responsibility every business will face ethical dilemmas and all business have the potential to make unethical choices ibig sabihin nito paliwanag natin na yun again maraming mga company na they are faced in order to survive they are faced to make a decision However, sometimes yung mga decision na yon will, uh, if they uh, made a wrong decision, it will prove unethical. Kung maga, kikita sila, pero unethical yung ginawa nilang decision. And that is a dilemma. Of course, you want your business to survive. However, uh, in order to survive, you are forced to make an unethical decision. And between uh, choosing between the two, of course, Kailangan, you choose the, you go to the moral high ground, which is uh, don't create unethical decisions because it will have an impact in the long run. It will haunt you. It will, uh, sometimes it will even uh, prove to be the downfall of your business. Kaya, yun yung dapat paliwanag. And hindi ito isang uh, isolated case. All entrepreneurs face this uh uh, situation, kaya yung mga bata habang nagka-craft sila ng uh, business nila and uh, they might and they will encounter this. So right now pa lang, kailangan ipaliwanag natin yung uh, long, uh, in the long run, ano yung impact ng maling decision or unethical decision na maaari nila magawa because they want to be profitable. And this is an example of a a case na pwede niyong banggitin, pero kung meron kayong alam, pwede mo rin uh, palitan tong uh, uh, case na to. So let's watch this video. Tom's didn't start with the idea for a shoe. In fact, it was the absence of a shoe that started it all. Argentina was beautiful. The music, the colors, the food, the people. But as soon as I left the city, I noticed this need. I knew nothing about shoes and very little about giving. But I had a simple idea. What if a for-profit shoe company used giving as its business model? One where for every pair of shoes sold, a new pair would be given to a child in need. One for one. They'd be shoes for a better tomorrow. Tomorrow shoes. So I called them Toms. I remember boxing some of the first Toms at Blake's apartment. We sold 10,000 pairs that first summer, so we gave away 10,000 pairs. 10,000 pairs that protected children from disease and infection, that completed the school uniform, helping increase enrollment. We gave repeatedly, going back time and time again to the same communities, watching the kids grow up with Toms on their feet. 10,000 became one million, two million. A spontaneous response to a simple need had evolved into something much bigger than we had expected. We were learning to give by giving, and we were getting some of it wrong. The criticism made us take a closer look at what we were doing, and this led us to a realization. One for One wasn't a corporate policy, it was a movement. We weren't a shoe company at all, we were a giving company, and this changed everything. I was hired to grow the giving department. Now we have an entire team of people devoted to learning how to give better, to take feedback we had received, and to do more. We designed new giving products, winter boots for colder climates, sneakers for play in our city streets. We evolved from just providing aid to supporting economic development. We partnered with factories in Kenya, India, Ethiopia, 
hired artists to hand paint shoes in Haiti and made a commitment to produce one third of our giving shoes in local markets. We work with local NGOs to deliver shoes right up to the last mile. But we saw that the communities needed more. They needed wells, prenatal care. There was malnutrition, devastating diseases caused by shoelessness. So we dedicated a percentage of our sales to help and took on podoconiosis as a personal cause, funding clinics devoted to eradicating the disease. And then we saw another need. We took our learnings from giving shoes and applied them to sight. It was a new way of looking at one for one, not just giving a product, but helping restore sight through surgery, medical treatment, and prescription glasses. It's about pairing one person making a purchase with one person in need. It's about a simple transaction changing a life. This is what One for One is about. And the future of One for One is about more than giving. It's about changing the way business is done around the world. Tom's didn't start with the idea for a shoe. In fact, it was the absence of a shoe that started it all. Again, moving forward, uh, to summarize, uh, you entrepreneurs, as entrepreneurs, the kids or the senior high school student will face ethical dilemmas. And uh, dapat, the student should be mindful of their decision. They have to know if it's ethical or not, because even if they profit in the short term, it will uh, hunt them in the long term. Therefore, if they do, or if they decided in terms of being ethical, uh, in the long term, it will be beneficial to them. Dapat uh, makonsider nila yon at uh, yun yung kanilang implement. Also, consider the effects of their decision dun sa mga tao sa paligid nila because uh, we have to emphasize that the business does not exist uh, in a vacuum. Hindi siya nag-iisa, kundi gumagalaw siya sa loob ng isang malaking uh, uh, lipuna, isang environment which involves the stakeholder. So, that is how we explain and emphasize this very important concept, which is ethics and corporate social responsibilities. So thank you very much. I hope uh, uh, you are able to have a uh, clear understanding of how to execute it. I think you will be able to explain it better than me. And good luck because uh, this concept in uh, different uh, topics in the module is the most critical concept that we should be emphasizing to our students. So thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.